Hi guys, welcome back. I wanted to put together a really quick video in section 2.6, uh, the related rate section in calculus class, but I just wanted to focus on the latter problem just to make sure everybody was on the same page. So my artistic skills here have shown a ladder that's leaning against the wall. All right, so some things, and this is the same one we did in class, so just kind of reviewing this. So as the ladder's leaning against the wall, first thing we need to know is that the ladder itself is a fixed rate and that the ladder is 25 feet long okay and so we know that that's never going to change as that's falling down so we know the ladder is 25 feet okay now while this ladder is falling down alright we know that it is falling down the, the wall okay and there's a rate at which it's going to fall down the wall. And as it's falling down the wall, it's also going to be coming away from the wall at the base. Okay, So it's going to be coming down the wall and away from the wall while that ladder is sliding down. All right, So some rates that are going to happen here depends on what they tell us. So the problem that was, that was uh, in class told us that a 25-foot ladder okay was leaning against the wall and it falls down the wall is also sliding away from the base sliding away from the base that's this one right here and that one was the rate of 15 feet per second okay so 15 feet per second that's how we were falling away from the wall we want to know how fast is it sliding down the wall when the top of the ladder right here top of the ladder okay is seven feet high so when we do related rate problems you're always taking the derivative implicitly with respect to time of some basic formula all right so if I look right here I can hopefully tell that I pretty much have a triangle going on right here all right and it is a right triangle that's happening all right so if I think of my right triangle what do I know about a right triangle I know that I'm going to have a squared plus B squared is equal to C squared right that's the Pythagorean theorem and therefore one thing I do know is that I know that the length of the ladder is 25 feet. And that's fixed. That ladder is not going to change its length the whole way through. So I know that I've got A squared plus B squared is equal to 25 squared. So there's the Pythagorean theorem. And if I take the derivative of the Pythagorean theorem with respect to time, so I know that I'm going to have 2A for the derivative of a squared and then times dA dt plus 2b times db dt. Now normally what I, I would have 2c dc dt but I know that the latter is a fixed length and a, it's a constant that's not going to change and the derivative of the constant is zero. Algebraically I can divide the entire equation by two so that means I can actually cancel out the twos. So I will have a times dA dt plus b dB dt equals 0. So again, here is your rate of 15 feet per second. That represents, because we have a as the lower leg here, this right here is dA dt. And the rate going down the wall, okay, that's going to be dB dt. And now A and B are just the lengths of the sides. So if I use the Pythagorean theorem knowing that this is 25, and then they told me when the top of the ladder gets 7 feet, 
I should be able to use the Pythagorean theorem and figure out what the length of A is. Now the length of A is just a, hopefully you know that Pythagorean triple, or you just take 25 squared minus 7 squared, take the square root, you'll figure out that A is 24. So now I should be able to f plug in everything that I know. I know that A is 24, and I know that DA DT, I also knew that, Okay, the ADT is, was stated that the ladder is falling away from the wall at 15 feet per second. So I got a 15 here. B, which was a height of 7, and then DBDT was the rate I'm trying to f so solve for. So now I've got all these filled in except one variable. So I just use some algebra. So first thing is 24. Uh, times 15, that gets moved to the other side. So I'll have 7 dB dt equaling, and when I move this to the other side, okay, that's going to be 360 moved to the other side. So I'm going to have negative 360. And then to solve for the rate on its falling down, I know that I'll move over here. So dB dt is equal to a negative 360 divided by 7, which comes out to be a negative 51.429, and that's feet per second. So that's our answer to the latter problem that we did in class. So hopefully by reviewing that, that kind of helped you a little bit uh, of going through and doing the related rate problem with the ladder problem. So if you get one that's similar, let's say that, you know, the ladder's 20 feet instead of 25, you'll be able to hopefully, you know, compare this with the, the next problem that you have. So hopefully that helps, guys.